Hello. Today I'm here to, go, uh, to talk about a uh, TV show. Uh, of course, it's a little, little different uh, than I normally talk about, but it is uh, one that is a uh, fairly significant. It's a show that um, means a lot to me and so many other people. Um, it all, it's also uh, related to something I talked about earlier in the year. Um, it is 55 years old this year, and that show is Batman, the 1966 series starring Adam West and Burt Ward. Um, now, now this box set is uh, was a limited edition. You know, there's only so many made. It came with a uh, Batmobile, a Hot Wheels Batmobile uh, of the 1960s show and has trading cards and of course the complete series as well as an episode uh, guide and uh, uh, Adam West scrapbook um, exclusive all to this uh, set um, and also here if you press this you will get Uh, yeah, I hadn't pressed it in a while, but you just do Batman, and they always say Batman, and you do like the theme. But I hadn't done that in a while, so unfortunately, it's, I guess it's <laughs> I guess it's dead. Um, I guess I could always change the battery if I wanted to, but that that would probably be uh, quite no, uh, <laughs> quite something. Um, Of course, uh, for so many, this was the, uh, really the first, uh, major introduction to the, uh, character of Batman, you know, the TV show and how popular it is, um. I know uh, this was my introduction to Batman. Um, I mentioned so when I talked about the film briefly, uh, probably like early on, um, when I did that earlier this year. Um, but yes, uh, seeing this show, it's probably about like two or so, because uh, when I was three, Batman and Robin was the newest film coming out in 97. And I remember I had uh, got action figures and a Batman cake, and it was all specifically because of, you know, my fondness of the characters as well as, um, our, you know, uh, Batman Robin, uh, specifically. But, uh, this show I remember seeing first. And one thing about the character. Batman, why I love Batman so much, why I've talked about it so much on on this channel, is because you know this show. You know when I saw it as a kid, I loved it. It was a it was one of those things where I was not really introduced by really anybody at all. It was just on TV, like uh, it was one of those things where you know. It was changed to a specific channel, like the channel was turned on, and there was like a, like a show or something that was on, and they, like, like um, somebody, whoever it was that was watching it, you know, it was, watch that show, then once that show was over, or whatever, they had back-to-back -back episodes or whatever, this show came on, and it was like, hey, alright, Batman, like Batman, so, you know, it was on, and it wasn't really purposely, like, shown to me. It was just one of those things I watched it because it was one of the things that was on, and I really gravitated towards the Batman and Robin and all the various characters, like Commissioner Gordon, Alfred, uh, the villains, Joker, Riddler, Catwoman, Penguin, 
it all the uh, just fantastical stuff that happened on uh, throughout the episodes. Um, now, of course, I'm not going to go into in depth of the entire series itself. Mostly, just my experience of watching it and my first exposure and to now. And really, all I can say is I love this show now as probably more than I did as a kid. I mean, I loved it as a kid, but I think I appreciate it a lot more now as I've gotten older. And especially since we've gotten a lot more Batman stuff, more Batman films, more animated Batman uh, stuff from shows and films. So there's a lot of Batman stuff, and a lot of that does come from the popularity of this show. Um, and also that sort of helped revive sort of the character in the comics because for the for a good long while the comics industry wasn't very good you know Batman as a character uh, had storylines that weren't very good um, the 50s had a lot of sci-fi type elements because you know in the 50s the science fiction stuff was huge and big and prominent so why not incorporate that into Batman as well as other comic uh, characters of the time regardless if it really fit or not and you know and some of that stuff sort of continued into the 60s and also part of that is because of the various codes of the comic books uh, had uh, but thanks to the popularity of this show uh, they were able to make more comics because now people were buying the comics again because, you know, the show is popular. People want to read the comics, so, you know, in a way, it, it's thanks to this show that the character didn't just become, uh, or uh, just eventually just uh, ended because people had no interest anymore. Sort of how every so often, when a like a nowadays film version comes out, uh, the characters gets more popular. Uh, basically, regardless if people buy the comics or not these days, you know the films and stuff really uh, had a hand in that. And, you know that has to do with this show. Um, now, of course, in the fifties there was the Superman show, The Adventures of Superman, starred George Reeves. Um, George Reeves um, did a great job on that show, and Adam West does a great job on this show, as does Burt Ward as Dick Grayson Robin. Um, <clears throat> what Adam West says for him as Batman is like he he couldn't make fun of the character. You can't make fun of Batman. You can't make fun of Bruce Wayne. He says and does things that you know adults will watch and like. What are they doing? Like, what are these two dumb schools saying? And what is wrong with them? Like, they will have certain lessons because the kids who are watching the show will take it seriously. It's completely serious to them. They don't get the joke. They don't get the complete humor that this is campy. They won't understand that until they're older and maybe see it later on. But um, kids will think it, take it seriously. And I, I remember... I did take that seriously as a kid. Of course, now, you know, you look back and it is a fairly campy show, but there's nothing wrong with that. It does reflect the times very well because, you know, that was quite, you know, it was needed because, um, you know, there's the Vietnam War going on. And so, you know, every night on the news in America, there was always these reports of how many dead American soldiers that, that day had. And also how many dead Vietnamese soldiers. They would always have these totals. And so every night they, people would hear about the war. Even if they didn't want to. Uh, they did. And uh, Batman was a way to... For 30 minutes you could just escape and not have to think about some of the horrors of the world. And, you know, that was another great thing about it. Is because, you know, you're able to... 
take a step uh, back and not have to hear about something that is not very pleasant going on at this time and uh, and have fun and have fun watching Batman and Robin fight the villain of the week and oftentimes there's you know, like two part episodes um, and there's a time where there's like two days would have a new episodes like one episode will be on like like Tuesday or and then the next like then Wednesday would have the next episode which would be like the follow up and the conclusion to the previous episode and they would often have that week after week um, and you know, that's why like, there's like 120 episodes of this uh, show and uh, over three seasons and it's an excellent uh, series um, though as the show went on you know the quality did kind of you know leave as it often does with shows um, Batgirl was introduced in the third season and the character is actually a very good it's a very good character you know, very smart and intelligent uh, character you know Barbara Gordon uh, Commissioner Gordon's uh, daughter um, but one thing they did really was like they introduced her as Batgirl from the very beginning of the third season really there was no like just have a few episodes with just Barbara Gordon who then figures out who Batman uh, and Robin is it's like it's just one of those things where they should have introduced the character a lot better um, than they did because the character itself and also I guess you could say this is as years go on and Barbara Gordon became more of an established character in the comics because as the at the time of the show Barbara Gordon was a fairly new character and so they wanted to get more of a uh, young female audience of course with Batgirl I mean there I had Catwoman who in the show is Julia Newmar and the first two seasons and the third season it was a uh, Eartha Kit because Julie Newmart it was doing another doing doing a film uh, just as what happened with the Batman movie you know she would have done the film the Batman film had she even known that was even gonna happen she didn't know until she was already committed to another movie and then sort of similar circumstances happened with the third season so uh, Julie Newmar probably would have been the Catwoman of this entire 60s era of Batman had she known about the film and the last season of commitments to making uh, other movies didn't happen um, she does a great job as the character as does uh, Eartha Kitt at the end of this show um, so does as does uh, Lee Merriweather in the film um, and Frey Gorshin um, you know, uh, uh, my favorite Batman villain is uh, the Joker. I think the Joker is just the best Batman villain. Um, but Frank Gorshin's Riddler, in my opinion, or is my favorite yeah, villain of the show. Um, Cesar Romero was great as, um, you know, he, he was great as the Joker. Um, and as was uh, Burgess Meredith's... Um, uh, uh, Penguin. Um, and there's been John Aston. Like the second season, a few episodes. He was the Riddler because, uh, like, Frank Gorshin was doing other things and couldn't be there to play the Riddler. And then when they wrote the Riddler into the show, so they got you know Gomez Adams to. Uh, appear in a few episodes and he did an alright job but of course you know at that point it's like it's Frank Gorsh and he's the Riddler um, um, and it's interesting I could, you know it's this show because it was in color of course you know bam pow kapow sock zoom zam bam wham uh, pow all these comic book like punches and stuff at the uh screen and also take this uh, backing off 
<clears throat> and uh, you can also see a uh, okay come on stay there there you go wham yeah that's kind of kind of goofy zap and yeah and the logo This show is uh, one of my favorite shows I I grew up watching. It's still a show I love rewatching now as an adult. You know, able to appreciate the humor more, um, and just the various interesting stuff that goes on in the show is it's just very just a very entertaining show in general. I think that's a, one of the reasons it's. Uh, lasted as long not just because you know it's a comic book character superhero you know show which definitely it helps you know batman <clears throat> is one of the most uh, popular superheroes comic book characters of all time um even to this day um but uh, you know just the writing and the performances and overall entertainment that this show uh, ha uh, gives on top of it being having a comic book character that's very popular in it i think is what really helps it uh, last as long because if it wasn't entertaining obviously one gone for three seasons when i've had over a hundred episodes one of them gotten a movie um but because everybody played their part well like all the uh, actors and actresses you know The stellar performances of the leads of Adam West and Burt Ward and just everybody else associated with the show in front of the camera. And then, of course, William Dozer behind the scenes of, uh, you know, being the executive producer as well as the narrator. He narrates the all the episodes as well as the uh, uh, movie. <clears throat> you know, just everybody involved, um, you know gave their all and it really shows throughout the show as well as the movie um even though you know barbara gordon batgirl wasn't handled the very best in terms of especially like the uh her entrance into the show um you know yvonne craig did a very good job she did a excellent job portraying the character as it was written um so you know no fault to her is really just the way the character was introduced um as to why i think it, there's various people who weren't too fond of the character being introduced because it seemed like it was a shoe horn and that was that's not very good to the show nor the character <clears throat> um but brand new character and probably wanted to get more of a female audience and you know well that's all understandable you know you need to make sure uh, you're doing it right But, yeah. Yeah, I just love this show. It's one of my favorite shows uh, that has uh, been made. One of my favorite shows to rewatch. It's always fun. Um, heard on uh, MeTV here in America. It's always on, uh, like, Saturdays. Um, but, that, of course, that's if you have, like, uh, antenna TV instead of, like, if they don't just stream everything or have a satellite or cable and uh, wouldn't be able to get those channels um, only if you have like an antenna then you can uh, watch that as well as older shows and uh, some other channels like with uh, films and such that are very good um, but yeah very good show. I know some people think it's not that great because of the candy material in it, but it's actually pretty good. And it's a show that's, I think, uh, worth watching. A show that uh, has lasted for so long and has had a big impact, and it proved that, you know, stuff like this is popular and can work. And I believe it was uh, this that actually kind of helped uh, 
Chappelle, like the Wonder Woman show of the 70s. Um, and in terms of like popularity, like, you know, people who do have an interest in comic book characters, superheroes. Um, so, yeah. Um, I really love this show. Um, and that's uh, really all I gotta say. Um, what do you think of this show? Do you enjoy it? Do you dislike it? Um, why or why not? Um, and, uh, yeah. Till next time, um, have a great day, have a great weekend, have a great week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.